one concern also when you're eating street food is like the bacteria culture. How is it? Is it like do they wash their hands? Uh, do they? Good evening from Kuala Lumpur. We are standing in Petaling Street, and behind us here we have the Chinatown, which is super cool. Yeah, you're supposed to find a lot of cheap goods such as clothing, accessories, etc., and also some good street food. So let's check it out. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> Filming each other. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> Can I just pause yeah. your vlog yeah, for sure. a moment? Because I'm doing this behind the scene of me taking photos of people on the street using smartphone. Right. So it's kind of a challenge for me right. to, to challenge myself. Uh, and then I'm going to compare this shot using phone with uh, camera. All right. So can I have like one of you guys to be my subject? All right, sure. Either one of you guys. I can be. One, two, three. One, two. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. See you guys around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, model for an uh, evening like that. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> My first job as a model. <laughs> Not got any pay. Supposedly to have like over 100 of different vendors and it comes alive here at the uh, evening and now it's about uh, 6.40 uh, p.m. So uh, it's not too late, but some vendors here are open until like 5 o'clock in the morning, which is pretty cool. If you look upstairs, you can see that they're having a glass roof also. So that prevents from raining and bad weather and also from the sun in the midday because it's super hot in this city when the sun shines. Normally it is already low prices here, but what I've read is actually that they're put out the prices about 15 to 35%. So you can always haggling or bargain, whichever word that you prefer. And one other tip is actually to wear like regular clothes. Don't wear branded clothes because then the vendors know that you might have some money in your pocket and they would like to put up the price even more before the bargain starts. So that's a tip. Hi. Welcome to Kuala Lumpur. Enjoy Chinatown. Thank you. People are super funny. Wow, now it starts to rain. Can you hear it? I'm glad that we made it in time in here because we would be all wet. They have so much stuff in here, it's crazy. I'm actually in search for a hat. I saw some in there, so maybe we can't go inside. Let's go for the hat. Hello. Hello. Okay. So you've been looking for a hat quite some time. Yeah, I'm actually looking for a certain one, but I haven't found it yet. Obviously, <laughs> maybe I can have some luck here. Wait, this is super cool. We just went into a store yeah. and they're having a restaurant just behind there. <laughs> Isn't that super crazy? Yeah. Okay, no luck in here. The vendors are pretty chill actually. They haven't like tried to push you stuff or yeah. So that's kind of chill. I, I like that. <laughs> yeah, the vendors are much more chill than the rain. I can feel some sugary smell from here somewhere. Oh, I think this maybe is the food side. Maybe we should wait. <laughs> but you can go in here. All right, let's walk. I found Fiel Raven, which is a Swedish brand. As you can see, if there's a brand, you will definitely find it here. Pretty narrow here. Yeah. I mean, you can find anything that you're looking for. Actually, there isn't like a lot of food on this street. This one can make the vegetarian because this one is the white tofu on yeah. it. But this one got egg. But I think there could be some on the crossing streets. But since it's raining, we're going to wait to go there. In this like narrow street. You can feel that they try to sell you stuff, like, look at this one. But outside it was more chill. Still raining quite a bit and we don't have like an umbrella. So we'll wait a bit here, I think. Do you enjoy Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur? Yes, we enjoy it. Uh, where do you, you live here? No, we're from UK, Manchester. UK. Oh, okay, Manchester. Where are you from? We're from Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. Do you enjoy it here? Yes, very enjoy it. Oh, Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I talked to a guy from Manchester. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He stopped and talked to me and asked me if I enjoy Kuala Lumpur. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, nice guy. People are super friendly here. Yeah, they are. You know I'm a fan of tea and we actually find some Chinese tea here, so I think we should try it. 
Power tea? Uh, yeah. Power it's, tea. It's typical Chinese. Yeah. Okay, then uh, we'll take one. One. Yeah. This one, eh? Yeah. One, eh? Is it hot or is it cold? Cold. Hot? No, no hot. And we Ah, oh. it's uh, like yeah. the room temperature. Oh. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah. Okay, Is it different tastes? No taste. No taste. Ah, uh, okay, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So let's sit down and uh, drink some tea. So here we have some Chinese flower tea. Mm, it really tastes like flowers. <laughs> oh, okay. I know this taste. Actually, it tastes like uh, artichoke. Yeah, that's exactly the taste. And I'm a huge fan of artichoke. I absolutely love it. That's why. I was like, I remember this taste. It tastes like something else. Yeah, it was nice. Was it sugary? <laughs> it was a bit sugary, yeah. It's, um, I don't know if it's honey or sugar inside. Yeah, you should try it. So apparently it has some beneficial of drinking this five flower tea, it's called actually. It's moisturizing and good for eyesight. And if you have seen our previous videos, you know I wear glasses. <laughs> so it was quite good to drink this. <laughs> Maybe I will be able to see. <laughs> I'm having my contacts now. Actually, you also have one bad eye. Drink. Okay. <laughs> I see much better now. Thank you, baby. <laughs> So luckily it stopped raining, so now we can walk this little bit more like a food street and try to find something to fill up our bellies with. So here they're just selling like coconuts and stuff like that. So I wonder what this is. Hello. Yeah, yes, anything you want? I don't know, what is it? Ah, this is a coconut pancake, this peanut pancake. Okay, peanut pancake and coconut ah. pancake. Yes, please. All right. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, uh, one, one of each maybe? Uh, one of each. Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, have a nice day. You too. So we found some peanuts, a pancake and some coconut pancake. It yeah. smells delicious. Wow, can you smell that guys? <laughs> yeah, it smells delicious, right? They are super hot. Okay, so this is the coconut one. Yeah. Wow. I'm not a food critic, but this is this is some good. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and taste uh, or, a, or a bite from this peanut. Oh, it's peanuts. Oh, I barely don't even like peanuts. I mean, not at all. Not at all. I could not like chop down a whole jar of peanut butter like in one minute. Yeah, wow, look at this. That's some, yeah, that's some crunchy peanut right there. I think I will have to buy more of these. Wow, now it's your turn. Maybe this will be something nice. It's like a coconut cake. Okay, now for the peanut one. <laughs> Is this Chinese style? Yeah, yeah, Food? Chinese like oh. style. Yeah. Okay, so we'll sit and try something. I was like, is, is it going to pay me to eat here? <laughs> Can we ask you what is like normal, like traditional Chinese vegetarian food? Yeah, yeah. Yes, like there is a vegetarian fried rice, vegetarian noodle, or you want some I special sicily noodle veggie there. Okay, so some fried rice with some sicily noodles with vegetables and uh, I don't remember the other thing. But yeah, finally some food. <laughs> I don't know, but I definitely got some on my leg. Now I know what they meant with like sizzling. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Come in, Bala. Come in, Bala. Come in, Bala. It smells delicious. I think it's 
super hot though. Wow, I totally forgot that we got the rice as well. So much food. Uh, well, we, we said we were hungry, so now we eat. <laughs> so that's the beard curd? Yeah. Or like uh, tofu? Yeah. With some uh, mushroom, bell pepper, carrots, uh, it's, uh, corn. And here we have some noodles with uh, vegetables as well. Onion and uh, yeah, it looks nice. And here we have just regular fried rice with a little bit of vegetables. Where to start? You're <laughs> hungry? I'm hungry, yeah. <laughs> Mm, not yet. <laughs> this is like my belly fat. <laughs> mm. What's good? Oh my god, that was so hard. <laughs> I burned my tongue. Look, I probably have tears in my eyes. But it was so good. Wow, that was hot. Poor tongue. <laughs> the, the taste was incredible. It was really delicious. Look at it inside here. It looks like, uh, like vanilla cream or something. So I guess this is super hot as well because they are like steaming it just in front of you. So, um, yeah, I don't want to burn my tongue. Wow, great taste. No, right. One concern also when you're eating street food is like the bacteria culture. How is it? Is it like do they wash their hands? Do they like use clean plates, clean uh, silverware? I'm not sure, but when they're cooking it just in front of you, you feel pretty safe when you're eating this. It was like a Chinese food. It was like tastes a lot of soy. <laughs> it was good. Let's try the rice. Wow, it tastes a bit like charcoal because I think that this uh, rice is actually grilled and I like it. Yeah, it has, it has that like grilled taste. Yeah, yeah, definitely grilled taste. And this, let's try out your belly fat. No, <laughs> don't say that, it's gross. Whoa, surprisingly good. This was better than this one. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You have to try this out. Yeah. This is like grilled, grilled rice. Awesome. Okay, let's eat. So the food was delicious, especially the tofu was really nice. Even though I burned my tongue. Yeah, even though you burned your tongue. Yeah. But it was quite expensive. I think we paid 16 US dollars for that whole meal. Yeah. And if we were in a restaurant, that would be cool because the food was really super good. But on the street like that, no. A bit expensive. A bit yeah. expensive. Yeah. And unfortunately, I didn't find a hat, so there was no bargain. But that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so much stuff here. So if you're ever yeah. going to Kuala Lumpur, definitely go visit. Chinatown because yeah. you will have a lot of fun yeah. because there's so many things to see here and also a lot of things to eat here yeah but I think that wraps up this video now we're gonna put down the camera and just enjoy this a little bit more in private and we hope to see you in the next video guys bye